The next speaker is Honorable Zulfika Mustafa. You have the floor, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, first of all, I would like to join with my colleague on this side of the House to extend to the Honorable Member and Minister of Tourism my sincere condolences on the passing of our mother-in-law. Mr. Speaker, after 86 days, after 86 days, this government finally were able to present a budget to this National Assembly. And today, today, Mr. Speaker, is 96 days. And when this estimate would have completed, or complete, we will have 104 days. And many of the 100 days plan cannot be fulfilled by the APNU government. Many of the 100 day plan cannot be up to because they will exceed the 100 day plan. They will exceed. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, we on this side of the house, we on this side of the house, is shocked to know, is shocked to know, is shocked to know that the Minister of Finance presented a budget of $221 billion, $1 billion more than last year, when he said, when he said in his budget speech, when he said in his budget speech that many times that the PPP civic government was corrupt and there was no money in the Treasury. We are shocked. And Mr. Speaker, and I have been wary of hearing of all the adjectives, all the adjectives that he described the PVP civic government. All the projects, the minister, the honorable minister of finance. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I have been, as I said, I have been wary of hearing what we did whilst in office was wrong, to put it mildly. And all manner of negative adjectives, as I said earlier, were used to describe, describe the many of the initiatives embarked upon to bring development to our country. But Mr. Speaker, I would like to refer to two documents. The two documents are the budget speech of 2015 and the budget speech delivered by the then Minister, the Honorable Ashni Singh, 2014. And Mr. Speaker, if you look, if you look at pages 32, 33, and 34 in the 2014 budget, and you look at pages 30, 31, and 32, all the major projects, all the major project, the projects that were in the 2014 budget, you see them in the APNU budget. So that's a wholesale copy of the PBP Civic Project. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the Honorable Member who just spoke, the Honorable Member who just spoke, probably is too young, probably is too young to know what we went through as a people in this country. And I want to say, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I want to recap, I want to recap some of the things that we went through as a people. And the first thing I want to say before I go, I have here Starbrook News. Starbrook News dated February 1989. And for the honorable member, you must learn, Guyana dollar devalue. Greenwich present at 10 to 1 is more the budget. Those were the times. Those were the times when this, all the infrastructure, when Guyana was on credit, on credit worthy. And Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, to get to the point, to get to the point where we are today, took a lot of sacrifices and courage. As I said, Mr. Speaker, 
I would like to recap a bit before I get into my main presentation. When we assume office 23 years ago, Guyana in local parlance was bankrupt, in a state of ruin and an international embarrassment. Everywhere Guyanese go, everywhere Guyanese went, they were hunted down and chased back to Guyana. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, money were borrowed to pay wages to public servants in that day, those days. Guyana was far as the World Bank and the IMF was concerned, was dead. That just to put it mildly. I want the young um, honorable member to learn. Many, Mr. Speaker, many essential foodstuff were banned. And you hear again, this government wants to reintroduce rice flour. Hope Guyanese people not get back the white carna. Hope the Guyanese people not get back the white carna, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I also want to, I also want to jerk your memory, jerk the honorable members over their memory. Guyanese leaving the, these shores were only permitted, were only permitted to walk or given 15 US dollar to travel. Mr. Speaker, I have here in my hand a passport. I travel in 1987. I have to go to the Bank of Guyana. I have to go to the Bank of Guyana. And it's 15 US dollar. 15 US dollar. And you ask the Honorable, you ask the Honorable Kim Raj Ramjatan. He and I went to North Korea, the World Festival. And his father and I were, and him was in the car, were in the car. And he went. They went and bought money. Wall Street black market because they can't get it from the Bank of Guyana. Today the economy is free. That's the PPP civic government, Mr. Speaker. That's the achievement. That's the achievement. And Prak, you can remember that. Right? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, we heard, we heard Honorable Member Neil Kumar said in 1964, two parties two parties combined and the PVP was out of power. We are having history repeating itself. We are hearing the APNU. We are hearing the APNU is not the PNC. But Mr. Speaker, karma is a great thing. Ask the outgoing Ramaya, he will tell you. Ask the outgoing Ramaya, he will tell you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I wish to refer to page four and five. And the and quote and quote from the honorable member, the honorable minister of finance. And he state I he, he state and I quote, I wish to state here that the coalition remains strong and its viability and long liberty remain unthreatened. And then he went on and said our passion in this regard remain unsh unshaken and undiminished. Uh, end of quote. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, you ask the main, the AFC main campaign man in Barbies. You ask him how he's bitter. You ask him how he's bitter. And he went on national television. He went on national television. And he lambes, he lambes the leadership of the AFC for the betrayal of the Barbician and the Guyanese people. Yeah. Mr. Speaker. The AFC, the AFC is not realizing. Honorable Member, you have 10 minutes. They are now realizing, Mr. Speaker, that they have been fooled. They have been fooled. And they are trying to save face. Mr. Speaker, today, today we are witnessing, today we are witnessing political and ethnic cleansing in Guyana. Mr. Speaker, many bright, many bright young people who are in government services and because of their political affiliation, 
they are being sent home without any benefits. Is that, is that the green economy you all talking about? Is that the green economy? Which hunting, which hunting, political victimization, ethnic cleansing, ethnic cleansing? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the time is going. Honorable member, you should take a loss. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare as Minister of Finance. The worst, the worst guy I ever had. The worst Minister of Finance. That is why, that is why the coalition throw you out and put Mr. Winston Jordan. On a point of order, Mr. Speaker, standing order 48. The Honorable Member, sir, he has gone on, an, a, a, on a cliff. He's not supposed to do that with another member of this Honorable House. What? He cannot, he cannot use such unfelicitous language against yeah. another member. And I believe, sir, that you should apologize and withdraw the remark. You have a Thank point you, of Mr. order, Speaker. sir? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to refer, I, Mr. Speaker, I want to refer to the, uh, that part of the speech where the Minister, where the Minister of Finance, the Honorable Minister of Finance, talk about local government elections. And all of us, all of us who are here, including my good friend, and colleague there over there, the Honorable Attorney General, knew what took place. That is why we now have local government election. But Mr. Speaker, let me tell you what. I want to make it clear in this Honorable House that this party, the party of Chedi Jagan, is never afraid of an election. We were cheated but never defeated, Mr. Speaker. And for any election, Mr. Speaker, for any election, for any election to be held, it must be free and fair and fair and free from fair. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, first of all, there must, there must never be no fake statement of poll. Anytime you have even one fake statement of poll, the whole electoral process compromised. Mr. Speaker, comrade, Mr. Speaker, ordinary people, ordinary people must not be threatened and suffer losses because they support a political party. In the last election, Mr. Speaker, remember what took place in Sophia. Up to now, up to now, people are, people are looking for help because their property were burned down. The property were burned down. They were threatened, they were beaten because they supported the People's Progressive Party. This is a fair intimidation, Mr. Speaker, that the APNU is putting on the Guyanese people. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to state that, I want to state that the Honorable Member, the Honorable Minister of Finance, stated that we going about putting our own people in local government. Mr. Speaker, let me tell you what happened. We have had, we have had IMCs in Rose Hall, Carriverton, and Anna Regina, Linden. IMCs. We have had, let me tell you how we get there. We have Honourable had member, a petition. Honourable Member, you have five minutes more. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Be Speaker, we have had petition, we went, we listened to the people concerned, we went and had consultation and install IMC. The Honorable Member, Mr. Bulkan, went, went and throw those members and install his own. Is that, that democracy they're talking about? Why? Why he never went to Linden? Linden has an IMC, but he is Ben, and witch hunting, and as I said, ethnic cleansing. That's the way this APNU government did. Mr. Speaker, I, 
The record of the PVP Civic Administration in regional development is a proud one. Our party is proud of the legacy it is leaving in the area of regional development and regional governance. I want to take this opportunity to share with colleagues in the other side some major achievements by our party while in government. And certain many of them on the other side wouldn't, would have traveled throughout the country. But Mr. Speaker, without having done so prior to 1993, they are not in a position to, achieve, to appreciate the phenomenal development that have took over this country for the last 23 years. Mr. Speaker, under the PNC government, re regional, regional government was not realistic. Rather, it was more concerned with national political mobilization. That's the way. But Mr. Speaker, as a consequence, as a consequence this resulted in many of government critical services remain under central government control. Mr. Speaker, things changed during the 23 years of the PEP Civic Administration. The original objective of regional government and development were generally achieved through systematic introduction of measures to give governance to the people. This became possible, Mr. Speaker, through the commitment of the PPPC to ensure that every citizen, regardless of where they reside, to have an equal opportunity to benefit from government intervention. You have two minutes remaining, Honorable Mr. Member. Mr. Speaker, today every region and yes, the interior region boasts of all the services, all the services that the PVP civic government offers. Health, education, housing, electricity, um, uh, solar, solar, solar panel, and others. Water, and Mr. Speaker, don't forget the number of young people from the interior who are today engineers and doctors thanks to the PVP civic government. That's the way we work. We don't witch hunt and dismiss people. And Mr. Speaker, the education, the education standard over the years has improved tremendously. Has improved tremendously. So much so today. So much so today that people in Essequibo, people in Region 9, young people in Barbies are topping the C sex examination with 20 and more subjects. Mr. Speaker. That's the development we're talking about. Mr. Speaker, in concluding, in concluding, I see the budget as presented is a burden to the people of this country. I say so because the Regional Democratic Council in Region 6 submitted six, um, 37 projects and 31 were cut by this government. 31 capital projects were cut by this government, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, with the cuts, with the Honourable cuts... Member, Honourable Member, your time is up.